And we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to use the bump filters. I've got the same photo a couple of times copied. Let me keep the top left as the original. I select the one below and under filters bumps. We can find a simple selection of one click options. And it creates kind of like a bump effect. Most of them are one click solutions. If you don't like one, just press Ctrl Z. So the first couple, they are just variations of each other. But you also have a couple of abstract effects like this one. And there are also effects that have a more complex menu like the bump right here. So you can manually adjust it, the color bump, the light source, the lighting, and under options you've got even more effects. To be honest, not all of these filters are really usable. Some of them produce unusable stuff, but they are good ones. Some of them are very abstract, like this dark embers. Or the jelly bump. I like this one a lot, that's a good one. The plasticine. It's a cool effect. Once again, a simple one click effect. Quickly and easily done. The wax bump, once again, is a complex menu, so let me give that a red filter. Uncheck and check again. You can adjust your opacity and under lighting, you can also adjust it. Let us use this one for the last photo. As I've said, I like the plasticine one best. The first couple of bump filters that create this typical engraved effect, I guess that's the word in English, that are very interesting. As most of these are one click effects, the results may vary depending on the image that you use, but it's worth it to just try it out and see what your photos look like with these bump photo filters in Inkscape. I hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.